y'all. All right, I've got another good one. I know I say that every time. This one's called The Napping House. You might have this story at your house because it is such a good one. Let's see what it's all about. I'm noticing I have a very loud little chirping bird here to read with us today. All right. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping? A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. You see the mouse? She's jumped up awake. Who scares the cat? Who claws the dog? Who thumps the child? Who bumps the granny? Ooh. Who breaks the bed? In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. The end. Alrighty. Thanks for reading along with me. I'll be back another time with another story. Bye, y'all.